We made it to Colombia. And we're about to go catch some monster in the comments. No way. Oh, right here. That is epic. Back with the brown water. <laughs> Somebody had to jump it. Estimated around 20 to 25,000 capybaras. <laughs> Look at that thing. So we've been driving for miles and miles and miles, freaking ton of hours, probably three, four hours into all these farmlands and haven't seen absolutely anything. We just came across our first group of cows and some um, cowboys and it was pretty freaking awesome, but we're almost there to the property. I have no idea what to expect, but Devin he has been saying this place is absolutely amazing. So I can't wait to get there and show you guys all the cool animals. Just got to the room and we have plenty of beds inside of here. We have one, two, three, four, five, five beds for Nick, Cassandra, and I. We're setting up, getting ready, and we have no idea what we're gonna see. As soon as we pulled into the property, capybara everywhere. Absolutely amazing. Came in everywhere. Horn, screamers everywhere. So it's gonna be a really, really cool blast. This place is really, really unique, but not a lot to say the location of this place because it's a sanctuary, and we pretty much got invited to come here. So it's really, really neat, and let's go have some fun. Look at this, you guys. Horn screamers. That's insane. We saw like 30 of them coming through. They're able to walk on the big lilies and stuff. Super, super, super cool. Big giant flying birds. Look at that. Huge. Check this out. Back with the brown water. Favorite place to be. That's the coffee water. And over here we had a bunch of chakalakas flying in the trees. We'll go show you them in a second. Really, really neat. And everything knows that it doesn't get hunted here. So everything just chills. Look, if we saw these in Peru, they'd be gone. But there's just chakalakas jumping around, doing their thing. Look at them all. Oh, there's a baby one. Drew, look, there's a baby chakalaka. They're baby ones. Do the babies fly? Oh yeah, they do. Came down to the riverbank. And there's capybara poop absolutely everywhere here. And then you can see there's different footprints and stuff. And they said there's estimated around close to 20 to 25,000 capybaras on the other side of this river. So that's going to be epic to go see. And to witness that many in the wild is freaking crazy. But you can see right here, all old capybara poop and footprints everywhere. Right here, the big one right there. They're a little old. Oh, that is a fresh one. That could have been from this morning. Look at that. They just come right here, chilling. Dive right back in. Go back to the other side. Look at um, that, you guys. These are the world's largest rodents, the capybara. There you go. Look at a big old male sitting right there. It's huge. Monsters. That's the squad we want to have on the ranch one day. It's crazy how dark they are, but look at the river water. Super brown, too. We got a turtle right there. Been seeing so much wildlife in the first, not even mile. Where? Oh yeah, that's a nice one right there. Look at that. Nice speck right there. Check those guys out. They almost look like the Egyptians from home. But Orinoco goose. A pair of them. And another came in. Every time I pick up the phone, we got something else. Oh, for real? Damn. Look at those geese oh, though. Yeah. That's a little tiny oh yeah, look at that little caiman right there. A That's a catchable one for sure. Look at that. All of our Norco geese. Everything that's so funny. We got the nice size caiman right there. And then we got a lot of pigs over here. The caimans are watching his food. Look at all these things, bro. So much wildlife, so much birds. Beautiful. Definitely first time having one of these right here. Bag of water. It's the best bag of water. Except you can taste the bag in it. You can taste the bag in it? Yeah. You don't like it? I think it's good. I mean, kind of. I go like this. Sí, quiero uno. Gracias. Guava candy. You can eat the wrapper? It's four leaves. Oh, okay. Is it good? See how good it really is. I'm trying to open this thing. It looks like a piece of fat. I'll give you a lot of onion. And no wrapper. Oh, 
We hit a sandbar, boys. I think you caught yourself. <laughs> this is where you jump for the stingrays. Yeah, it's really good. Good? Interesting. Big old sandbar right there. I don't even see it. I really like that one. Mine's down there. Nice size came in right there. That's about a five footer. Yeah. And another one right there. We have finally got some good shots, these guys. That is so cool. Four. Ooh. Look at that. Super cool. Finally got to see him. That's so cool. Look at that, you guys. That's the herd of capybaras I want. Oh, you hear him barking, Xander? You hear him? <laughs> oh my God, it's so cool. That is so neat. How many can you guys count right here? They are so chunky. Those are young ones. Look at those nursing right there. Leche. That is epic. Super. That's a big litter of babies right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's awesome. I was counting until I started taking pictures of the nursing baby. Drew, I'm recording over here and it looks like someone's peeing in the in the in front of me. Seventy six, you see there? We're at seventy six. We're at seventy six. Spectral came in heading back to the lodge. 110, Drew? Yeah. Imagine and the morning. Look, look at that big one right here. 77. 77. Absolutely insane. Oh, and right here to the right, we got more capybara. Little capybara is just hanging out right there. This river is filled with wildlife. Look at them all just chilling right there. Look at them all. So cool. Oh, dang, watch your fingers. Watch, watch your hands. Watch your hands. Devin just caught that with his bare hands. Look at that, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. That is insane. Somehow. I caught this with my bare hands. <laughs> Look at that thing. That is so cool. It jumped right in. It's clean, though. Yeah. That is awesome. Look at that. And Amazon's just flying in the air. So much stuff. More Amazons coming in. Best time of the day when the birds are all flying in. Look at those Amazons. I'm not sure of the species, but so cool. Oh my goodness, look at this over here. The whole squad came up. That is so neat. Just like at home, they come out and eat at night when it's not hot. On the end of our boat ride, we had a massive vampire fish jump inside of the boat, slap our tour guide in the stomach. It was an absolute crazy, hectic experience right at the end. We're about to get off of the river. Massive, almost 24 inch vampire fish and we decided that because it hit so many people and it got all banged up that we're like you know what let's try eat it and see how it tastes because we threw it back in the water it was just gonna be caiman food and we never tried a vampire fish before so we had the guys start taking all the scales off and we actually tasted it so it was very very bony fish but overall it was actually a good fish the cook did great and uh, now we're heading back into the farmlands or the ranch or whatever you want to call this and it was pretty freaking awesome and we're about to head to the giant lagoon they almost look like they're pregnant. We're about to pull up to the first lake and it's about to be crazy. Look at those little, small little doves. But this is something insane that we're about to pull up to. All the animals live here. We just drove probably a few miles on this little buggy little truck, on a little small little truck. And we got to this like giant lagoon right here. And this lagoon is absolutely filled with different families of capybara everywhere. All different types of wading birds came in and everything. And what we're about to go do right now they start hiking through all this water lettuce and water weed and go try to find some anacondas. Pretty much how we have to find them is walk into waist deep water and wait until we find one. Yeah, I know. That's the one that's coming up. So we got one nice, beautiful caiman right here. We got another one over there. That one's ready. He's hunting right now. I'm waiting for anything that's moving. What are you doing? Look at that. Here, Xander. You want some of that? No, Try to eat one. Here. These are our South American coffee beans. This is so cool. There are so many capybaras out there. 
so many different types of animals. That is so neat. Look at that speck right there. Sahil's just sizing us. Make it back down. Oh my god, that thing right there will whoop you. Heck no. Not when it's hot like this. He's warmed up, cooked up, ready to go. No way. Oh, right here. That is epic. He's a hook. Owe me a Coke. This is a big old girl. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. That's a freaking heavy female. Can't get smoother than that. You know what's funny? This is kind of like the same kind of area that we saw the leopards in Africa. The hill, the same thing. A little higher ground, yeah. That's awesome. Found a tortoise. Like at the good angle. Oh yeah, look at this girl go. Watch out with the weeds, run. Super pretty red foot. All right, we're gonna go pop up to a big group of caiman that right over here. See if we can see them real quick. Got some nice ones in the distance right here. Let's get closer. And we're looking for red foots. And we're looking for whatever the hell we can find. Probably a lot of takers. I heard him say that. Definitely right. And I don't think these are human trails. I think these are capybara trails. Got some caiman right there. Super cool. So many game trails. Check this one out right here. This is literally the definition of a capybara highway. Come in here, go out, and go graze at night. Because during the day, they're just inside of here, cooling down, waiting. And then at night, they go find all of the grass that they need to eat. Look at that guy right there. Lone males around looking for new females. A bunch of caiman just hanging out. And then we got cows in the distance. What is this stuff? It's like a type of water lettuce. When you bring some of this stuff home, kidding. What we gotta do? We got a not happy came in right here. What's up? Nice little male right here. I don't know. I think we're gonna we're gonna corner this one. Yeah, right. Is he hurt? Yeah. Something wrong with this big boy. He might be an old man. We'll let you be, buddy. Don't get eaten by a caiman or anaconda or a jaguar. We've got you the north bear. And hopefully you don't eat it. I'll tell you one thing, ever since I was a little kid, you are right back there? Yeah. Ever since I was a little kid seeing these videos of people coming out here looking for anacondas, looking for caiman and all that stuff. And it's finally like a dream to be out here. I really appreciate them and letting me join his team to come out here and see these things and oh, see this wildlife and all the animals. Oh my God, we have white, white faced tree dogs. It's super, super cool seeing all the different kinds of things. And got invited out here and really, really appreciate it. Let's go find some more cool stuff. In Spanish, it's called Temblador. Temblador. Como fish de corriente, electricity. I don't know. This is like a knife fish looking thing. At first, I touched it and I'm like, oh, that might be electric eel, but it's not. But it doesn't look alive at all. Oh, it is alive. But it's interesting looking. Woo, cranky little man. Look at that. A little gorgeous, probably one year old spectacle came in. Look how cool that little guy is. They found him in a hole right underneath the tree. And it's massive, massive. Look at him. He lives in. Isn't that neat? It was super, super windy and we decided to cut the volume because I wanted to explain to you guys what we were seeing. And you, as you see, I'm pointing all around. We saw a ton of anaconda trails moving through 
the mud, but they were trying to get to deeper water so they wouldn't cook in the sun. And we also saw a Jabiru eating a baby anaconda like a mile away. So we knew the anacondas were there, but we just had it to find them. We're shoveling through all the mud, all the muck, and hopefully we didn't step on any caiman. But eventually, in other videos, stay tuned, we actually caught some massive anacondas. But you can see, we saw some giant horn screamers everywhere. It was so cool seeing all the different type of wildlife. And let's jump into what we're about to catch right now. Hmm, knee deep water. They tell you not to do this at home. We got one right there. Hey! Deep. Might have a matchup right here. Two of them sizing each other up. Uh oh, we got some tail wagon. It's called some Nat Geo stuff right here. Plugs is out again in Moran tradition. <laughs> so I'm out of here. I guess the right one won. Oh, he has something in his mouth. Oh, wow. Baby capybara right oh, here, that was just good. born. So the caiman got out of the mud and we started chasing the heck out of it. And right here, as you guys saw when we were hauling butt, I actually hurt the heck out of my foot for the next two days. I was limping like crazy. We got the caiman to slow down. We were tiring it out. And we told Nick to take his shirt off so that he could throw a shirt over the eyes. But it was so windy as you guys saw in just a few seconds that we couldn't get the shirt on it. So I was like, the water's so close. Blake couldn't jump on it because he had a really expensive camera. So I was like, screw this. Let me not lose this opportunity that came in. So I jumped it and I was able to get it. I actually got my knees all bled up and everything, but <laughs> somebody had to jump it. It didn't look that big, but I'll tell you one thing, you guys, these caiman are super, super strong. And it was absolutely amazing to catch a giant wild caiman. You guys saw me shaking my hands a little bit. I was just seeing if it had any strength left on it, but it did. It was really, really strong. And it was an absolutely amazing amazing time to actually get this we had drew help me out and pick up this caiman and it was almost like a four foot caiman really 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 awesome and you guys see i'm still talking and everything but it was just so loud of the wind even with a mic it wasn't gonna work it was so much open land and so windy that i just had it to do a voiceover for you guys after we all got our pictures and everything we decided that uh obviously we're gonna let it go i mean let him live his best life and maybe he'll go back and eat that baby capybara again there he goes peace out buddy don't get eaten by a bigger one exactly what he was eating we had no idea little baby capybara look at this you guys a bunch of savannah side necks coming all in i think uh these guys get fed every once in a while take out your toes little hot dogs for everybody oh look he's cutting apples for them Yo, look at that one right there. It almost looks like a hypo. That one looks yeah. like a hypo. That one's really light. That's a real nice one right there. That's a that, that's a holdback. Oh, I, I'll catch that one. Oh my God, look at them all. <laughs> yeah, that real light one. Yeah, you gotta go quick. Go, go, run, 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 run. You got it? Hold it from the bottom, hold it from the bottom. There you go. That one's cool looking. He's really pretty. That's a cool one. Awesome. All right, give it to a little release. I'll show your dad. All right. Oh wow, that water is real pretty. Gone. This iguana has no idea what's about to happen. Oh, he got it. Oh! <laughs> Grab it, please. Oh! That's a cool little going right there. Here you go, Drew. All right. You got him? Right. Got him? Yeah. All right. There you go. <laughs> we got one leg tied up, so it's perfect. Whoa. Muddy. Some big cows. taking that four by four back off. So we didn't end it out there 
in South America, but it was an absolute blast. We saw so many cool animals there. We have more videos for you guys as well, so make sure you guys stay tuned for all the parts that we have for you guys. We caught a massive anaconda in the last part, you guys, so definitely stay tuned for that. Really, really cool experiences. It wasn't just came in, it wasn't just anacondas. We saw jaguars, we saw giant ant eaters, we saw so many cool things. And I hope you guys enjoy these videos as much as I did. So we can keep on going and go explore more of different places around the world. Make sure you give that video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Put your post notifications on. Make sure your post notifications are on for the next videos to come in South America. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.